What is up, everybody? This is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. No voice. Early in the morning. Bring you another Brutal Age video. Today's video is on Zera. She is the second three star we've done. It's just part eight in the in the War Pattern series. We're gonna get right into her. <laughs> just ignore that. Zera starts. She's a three star. She goes all the way to six star. Third Awakening. Her Legion skill is, is the Inspire Legion skill. Uh, that means if she survives the partner battle, Red Zero will add 30, 30 to the morale of the Beastmasters. Uh, remember that Red is always going to be the Beastmaster. Blue will always be the Shaman. Green will always be the Warriors. So, Zero is the Inspire. Her first skill is called Thorn. Uh, Thorn is when she runs up to him and it looks like she hits him with a, a vine or something <laughs> she attacks the enemy and has a 20 percent chance of dealing damage over two rounds and uh as you level her up this is a pretty brutal attack for her now it's all of her attacks are one player versus one player that might be her biggest weakness her second attack is the giant piranha flower and even at low levels this is a really powerful attack um, the piranha flower it attacks one one enemy and it, it ignore it ignores their defense. So regardless of their defense, it will do the same amount of damage. And uh, if she's attacking uh, her restraint color, which red is rest automatically restraining green, it can do two thousand damage right off the rip. I mean, it's right away. Um, once you get her up to the third awakening, she gets the the si Salvins. I've never said that right yet. Blessing. And that gives her invincibility. And then it gives uh, for one round. And then it gives the entire team uh, an attack and defense buff for two rounds. So that's a, that's a really big skill. And a little easy history. I, I've got her ranked first as far as uh, with the zeros. Red Zero, number one. Red Zero was unknown to me until I found an elite player from 323 that had her. She had... 1500 attack on her at that time now she's got it up to plus 1700 and that was saint who was the first teacher i had in the game now she does have a leader skill of of critical rate a critical rate 23 percent and the 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 setback to, to zira's uh leader skill is it's only good for the light colors so it's only good for red if she's red which is the brave moving on to blue I'll find my voice after I have my second cup of coffee. It's early morning here. So st she starts off fairly low. Hit points 1500. Attack and defense right over 100, uh, 141 for attack. Defense 117. Now she does, she's a, she is an attack partner. She does debuffs with pretty much every one of her attacks. Uh, again, she's another inspire for the le Legion skills. Uh, she will... Give the boost to the shaman as a plus 30 on their morale if she survives the partner battle So just remember that every time you do a player on player attack your partners will battle first So don't forget don't do what I do and forget to bring your partners all together Because a lot of people don't farm with their partners They don't gather with partners and then they go and attack someone with their farming cr crew make sure you change out uh, your Runes and if you have the gems you you, you should by the time you get a little more developed, you'll have in your abilities, you'll have one that's set up for gathering and then one that's set up for war. And you want to make sure you, when you're attacking you, a player, you want to have your runes set up to attack for the best skills you have. And then your, uh, your actual skills. And we can explain how to do that a little later. Don't, don't really have time in these videos for that. Her first attack was also, like red, was thorn. Her second attack is the giant prana flower as well. And again, the giant piranha flower deals damage, ignoring the enemy's defense. So, pretty good against some of the stout uh, reds. Blue restrains red automatically. Her third skill is called Rage of, of the Forest. She gets that at the Third Awakening. I have yet to see a blue at the Third Awakening. Uh, I'd be interested to see that. She gets her, her ability with the Rage of the Forest is that she attacks, she still attacks one player, one one enemy. But uh, she will freeze it for two rounds. 
And remember, when you freeze something for two rounds, they don't. There's no waking up for two rounds. They can't do anything. None of their passive skills work or anything. So at six star third awakening, I have her ranked at number two, and I had her at number two. Her her, her stats are pretty close to Red's. She has about the same amount of hit points, about the same amount of attack. Uh, her defense is a little higher than Red's. Uh, her her third ability is pretty good, although it doesn't do a lot of damage. It does freeze them. And it's better than greens, I think, because green relies on another partner, and we'll get into that once we see the green. And and again, she does have the leader skill of critical rate, it's 23%, and that is also just for the blue partners. So make sure that if you're going to put her in as a leader and you're going to try to use the critical rate, you have more than just her in there for blue. Make sure you have at least another one in there to, to benefit from the critical rate. Okay, moving on to green. Green has a couple of setbacks I get, uh, as far as hit points go, but her attack is the highest of them all. Uh, she also is an attack partner. Does, she has strong attacks with debuffs. She has a, she has a rare leader skill. Uh, believe it or not, critical rate is a, is a rare leader skill. I think there's maybe a, maybe a half dozen uh, partners that have critical rate as a leader skill. And don't quote me on that because I really don't know. <laughs> her legion skills also inspire. That means if Zero survives the, the partner battle... The warriors on your team will get a 30 point 30 percent a plus 30 boost on their morale and her first skill is also thorn so all three of them have thorn for the first skill that that means that she'll attack one enemy and there's a 20 percent chance that she can deal damage over two rounds that might benefit from uh, hit on the right hand Although I, I don't suggest it, but um, it might be a good alternative to try. I've only tried red myself, so um, there's all kinds of possibilities with green and blue that I haven't explored yet. Her second skill is called Bloodthirsty Chomper. Looks just like the Piranha, but it's a Bloodthirsty cho uh, Chomper. <laughs> it summons a Chomper to attack the enemy, and it prevents him from recovering hit points. So this is actually good for, uh, I know you wouldn't think about it, but up against the Nomads that have... Uh, that automatically recover hit points what like blue does or if they have the Ian war pattern on red like they usually do um, that would be a good benefit to fight them third skill is called natural ally this is uh, it, this could be a benefit to you if you have a really strong partner in there that that has uh, their, their first attack is really strong because what she'll do is she will choose a random ally and then she will automatically be in the critical rate every single time she attacks and she will use it kind of like what the uh, Red Berserker does uh, with, with the tag team. Both both partners attack at once. At 6 star, 3rd Awakening. She's got some pretty good stats. Now her, her hit points are low, but the attack's 522, which is the highest out of all of them. So with, with some boost on her attack percentage on her war patterns, you can really get her attack up there pretty high. And she does have the critical rate leader skill, which is also like the other two, only for the wild or the green partners. So again, if you're going to use Zero for a leader skill, uh, make sure you have others of like colors with her. Here's a little warning saying that um, I may choose different war patterns than you, that I choose them based on my likes or dislikes. <laughs> Don't be shocked if everyone else does something different. What I would suggest though is everyone should check out the top players in their in their server and see what they've got on all of their partners. I know some of them you're not going to be able to see because you know if they're really good they'll, they'll only have uh, the, the elite partners. You won't be able to see some of these smaller three stars. Okay, getting into the war patterns. There's a lot of similarities with all the war patterns they have for Zera, and it's because she is a strong attack partner. That's definitely her strength all the way around. Her hit points vary a little bit, up in the from 3,500 to 4,500, but her attack is over 450 on all three, which that's really good for a three star. Matter of fact, is there's, there's, there's four and five stars that don't get up in the 400s. So I would suggest using the attack percentage on all three of her, of her hands and head, and very rarely do I actually give that suggestion. Usually I have speed on the left hand. But I think that if you keep, if you get speed in all of her war patterns between the second and fifth attributes, try to get three to five speed, then you'll have enough speed to compete and the attack will be so high that every time she strikes, it'll be devastating. 
once you get her up to maxed out at 35 and even up to 40 uh, she does some massive attacks she can, she can do six seven thousand damage attacks getting into blue now you can see at, at, at the six star and third awakening her hit points are at 4500 our attacks at 470 defense 314 speeds over 100 because of her hit points and because of how high they are instead of using three attack percentages up top I would use attack percentage on the left hand helmet and then you put hit point percentage on the right hand and you know you can switch these around and it really won't make a difference what I would suggest you do is get is upgrade a few war patterns before you put them on her and make sure you have the second third and fourth attributes or at least second and third attributes that you want maybe go all the way to six level six with them focus on hit point and attack with her for the for the second through fifth make sure you have attack percentage hit point percentage critical rate and critical rate damage and these are not easy things to get in these war patterns a lot of war patterns have plus hit point mixed in or plus defense mixed in with these three star partners if you can somehow avoid that you may have to go through a bunch of war patterns to do it. it you will really like what you see at the end moving on to green went back to all attack percentage with her on on the hands and the head and if you don't know already for for both feet and the chest it's always going to be plus defense for the for the uh, left foot plus attack for the chest plus hit point for the right foot um, green green zero has the highest attack so just focus on attack and do nothing but attack and, uh, on her second through fifth make sure you have defense a little difference from having hit point in for blue make sure you have defense in some of her uh, war patterns because her hit points aren't going to be very high you want her defense to be a little higher that, that will that will save from the one or two shots and killing her I know I talked my way through the whole last little segment but you could also try badger and wolf four badger two wolf Instead of the Smilodon and Hippo, I've seen some people with that and it's worked well for them too. And it, you can really get the critical rate and critical rate damage up pretty high. Y if you've seen a lot of these videos, you'll, you've seen this part uh, and pretty much all of them. What, is this, what it's saying is that your second through fifth attributes are huge in your three stars. A lot of three stars don't have all of the natural skills that your five stars have. So make sure that in your second through fifth attributes you have attack percentage, hit point percentage, critical rate percentage, critical rate damage, and speed. They're all huge factors in making the, the strongest partner that you can make. Once you get up into the five star, it's not quite as important, believe it or not, because they have so much natural skill. But with the three stars, you, have, you really have to help them out with the war patterns and with the second through fifth attributes. And I've decided to do something a little different this video. Normally, our, our dynamic duo is on here. But we're going to bypass them this time. Reason is, is that I got a pretty good replay. While I was doing some research on Zera, I decided to run her through Adventure and I have one that I've been working on and she's now level 30 and just check it out it's, it's pretty good at, at level 30 you can already see uh, her potential and this is this is red Zera. this is without her third skill and so her third skill remember gives her invincibility and then it also gives the entire team an attack and defense boost so without her third skill which is definitely her strongest uh, skill she's she can just she she puts it on these guys so many different times you see that right there was just a 4500 damage so at level at level 30 she's doing 3500 damage and now you don't, you can't see her war patterns but i believe it's uh smiled on and hippo and they're not even close to maxed out matter of fact i think they're all at level six or seven or eight or something like that maybe i have one at level nine but they're not even close to maxed out and so not maxed out war patterns no third skill and still doing really high damage and doing it to both the green and the blue partners now red is always going to damage green more than uh, red will damage blue but she gets a couple good looks on blue and now granted these are bally's and bally's are not known for their stoutness but they are also level 40 so this is in uh, the purgatory adventure 
I would have loved to have her up a little higher and then I would have tried to run her through uh, a ranked match because I think those are a little more interesting. But this is just get, if you've never used Zero before and you have no idea what to expect of her, you can expect that every time that she attacks, that it, it's going to be a pretty powerful attack. Um, it may not be like the probably the most powerful of the three stars will, will, will probably be the red blonde which we get which she's coming up soon uh, And the reason is because red blonde does multiple attacks with a with a couple of big attacks Where zero just does these one big impact attacks with the, with the with the flower and then with her vine Also, you notice that I have the catfish fighter in here whenever you're using a, uh, a I call him squishy <laughs> Whenever you're using a squishy partner, in other words, their their hit points aren't that high. I think that once I get her maxed out, she'll probably have around 10,000 hit points. And so 10,000 hit points, it may seem like a lot now, but it's really not a lot. Uh, especially when you might be up against a nomad that has uh, 30,000 bonus hit points. And may have around 40,000 hit points total. So she's going to have a deficiency as far as the hit points go. So it, would, it helps her... To have someone like the catfish fighter or the red drum, the red drum beater in there because she does have the lowest hit points usually on the field and she will be the one that gets the shield if they're putting the shield on the lowest player. So, appreciate everyone for watching. I know it's a little bit longer of a video. So, uh, just want to thank everyone. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're in the middle of the War Pattern series. We got about 500 to go. <laughs> I'm just cruising through them. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.